Hi, I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for September, Virgo. Now you have a new moon this month in your sign. So this is a great time because the new moon is it's when the sun and the moon come together, signifies a whole new solar cycle. So it's a great time to review and renew your goals. Okay, now, you know, keep in mind that goals always need to be tweaked. I mean, the goals that you wrote five years ago or one year ago, you know, even months ago, you may feel differently about them now. I mean, as you grow and evolve, so should your goals and aspirations. So um, good time to do that. Now, career and money. So we've got the sun in your sign and Jupiter is in the 10th house of career and business and they're squaring. Okay, so uh, anything to do with Jupiter is never like a terribly challenging aspect. But in this case, you want to like just keep business real. Like try not to get infatuated about uh, something that's going on at, and at work or at your career, just take it in your stride instead, okay? Now Mercury, the communication planet, moves into your second house. This is the area of um, money, possessions, also the area of your self-worth. And on the 17th, so you can expect some news to come through. If you've been waiting for financial news, it can happen in the later part of the month. Now the sun also moves into this area on the 23rd, so you get a nice boost of energy. So it seems that really the, the activity around um, your career and you know work and money is more to do towards the second half of the month. Now, love and romance, so try to avoid secrets. You know, they can be like, secrets are a funny thing. I mean, if you're not like totally upfront, it can come back to you. So sometimes you can get away with it, sometimes you can't. It's likely that you can't this month, okay? Um, try to have a heart, if you've got something to say, try to have a heart to heart and, you know, keep it real, you know, be, uh, up, up front. So it seems to be the theme through your business, uh, you know, professional and personal life is really to keep things real. Use your common sense. Okay, now good friends will come in and be sort of candid with advice if, if, uh, if you ask them and probably if you don't ask them so as well. So, you know, do be careful of people wanting to give you unsolicited advice. Uh, you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's, you know, they're just simply too close to a situation. So, um, as always, when decisions are to be made in your life, it falls on your shoulders. It doesn't matter how much advice that you could get at the end, it, it's, up to you. You have to make the decisions for your own life. That's a part of your responsibility. And as a Virgo, responsibility is not something you find difficult. So that should be an easy one for you. Now your lucky numbers for the month are 7, 16, 17 and 23. And your most dynamic day I've put down is the 16th. Of course, this is when the new moon's in your sign and that's like a new beginning. It's like a wish period for you to put out to the universe your, your inner um, most inner heart desires. Okay, have a great month, Virgo. This it's your birthday month as well, so happy birthday! And uh, I look forward to seeing you next month. Bye for now.